What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jonathan. Thank you for watching. So in today's video, uh, we'll be kind of going over a melon that I bought in Japan. Uh, recently I took a trip over there and I spent about a week and a half and we went around and then I saw this fruit parlor <clears throat> where they had really expensive fruit. Uh, apparently Japan is known for their uh, fruit and how they, well they perfect the fruit. So I walked around and I was looking at really expensive grapes and apples, uh, watermelons, the square watermelon, if you guys have seen that before. And uh, they also have like their musk melon, which is kind of like one of their more uh, known fruits. So I decided to buy one and this video, I'll just do a little review on it and uh, it's just me pretty much uh, going over the melon. So stay tuned. All right guys, well today we're gonna be checking out the fruit and parlor melon that I bought the other day, which was $100 almost. And um, it's supposed to be one of the best tasting in the world, so we'll see how it goes. So it kind of, it's kind of cool, it comes in a box when they give it to you. And it comes nice and wrapped. And look, it comes like and it's little cradle. So you know you bought the expensive stuff. It has a date that you bought it. And I don't know, but it has a sticker and it says 928. So I don't know if it's like the item number or the how long, how many they had that year or whatever. So it's about the size of my face, kind of. But I got a big face, so uh, it has like a nice little webbing. There's the uh, musk melon. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna cut it up and let you know how it goes. All right, guys. We got the uh, melon over here. Take up the stickers and save them. All right, let's cut it. Probably doing it no justice. All right, so that's how it looks in the inside. It's green. I'm a melon cutting expert, so bear with me. I'm gonna clean it up and be back. It does have a really good smell though. So the aroma part is good. Probably threw like $10 in there. They say it's really good though. Really juicy. I think it was worth a hundred bucks. Very soft. Very sweet.
What do you think about it, babe? <clears throat> it's sweet. It makes me feel like royalty. So, compared to the melon in the States, it doesn't have an aftertaste. It straight up tastes like sweet melon. And, I don't know, is it soft? It's soft and firm. It's like the perfect, <laughs> perfect, um... Consistency, yes. And the skin is so perfectly webbed, like I want to keep it. You can make clothes out of it or something. <laughs> it's really nice. And to say they can take, they took care of this. So. You didn't hear it from me, you heard it from someone else too. So I'm gonna keep cutting it. I feel like I'm sinning just by cutting it. I really gotta save this skin though. I would like to show how beautiful it is, but you guys can see it. Perfectly webbed. We're gonna finish it in one go because you gotta have it the best you can. This is our meal for like. It's gonna be a breakfast. A week? <laughs> a week? It's five minutes. I don't know. That's a hundred dollars, so. We gotta savor this. You know how like watermelon doesn't have an aftertaste? Or you know what? That's what happened when we're balling. I don't know about that. I think I'm gonna keep the little stem here at the top. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna keep this little thing at the top. How about we keep this and try to grow it and then sell it for $200? You know people will buy it from us. Save the seeds. go perfect Maui brought to you by the Japanese tell them bye babe bye All right, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. That way you guys know when uh, I post the latest videos. If you guys uh, have ever been to Japan and tried any of these fruits, uh, comment below and uh, share your experience with us. Uh, we'd like to know. Thank you, guys. See you guys later.